Hi, I'm Royce Rolstad, and this is the Franklin County Beach Report. Once again, it's another beautiful day here along the Forgotten Coast. The beaches of St. George Island, Carabelle, and Alligator Point are unaffected by the Louisiana oil spill. People are here having a fantastic time on our beaches, and we want to extend a personal invitation to all of you to come on down to Franklin County, Florida, and experience everything that we have here to offer from our beaches, our wonderful seafood, and the many things that we have here to do. Today, I'm here on St. George Island, and I'm talking to one of the local residents, Mr. Mason Bean. Mason, thanks so much for being with us again. Well, thank you, Royce. Glad to be here. Appreciate what you all do for us. Oh, thank you. And the last time you were here was the 4th of July, and I know you guys had a ton of fireworks and everything, and just an absolutely fantastic time over here, right? Well, it's always a fantastic time, uh, even despite the crowds. And now you look around now, we don't really have big crowds, but look how beautiful. Yeah. We just passed two gals that work here all the time, and what they said was, golly, I wish they could have the day off and lay out and uh, just enjoy this beach. They get to work here. Of course, we all get to work here, and the thrill is we get to work here and stay here. So that's, that's right. Um, we have a saying at our office is that if you come for a vacation and stay for a lifetime. <laughs> you grew up here, but that's what happened to me 30 yeah, years ago. 30 so, years uh, ago. Anyway, it's, it's a thrill. So we encourage everybody to keep coming. Wonderful. Now, Mason, I know you're uh, a fisherman. How's the fishing been recently? Well, it, it's funny. Even though you've got uh, 87 degree weather, we tell people uh, the best thing you can do right is bait, fresh bait, fresh shrimp, live shrimp. Uh, the second best is probably get you a fishing guide uh, from around <laughs> here, and they'll put you onto some fish. Um, when I fish, I usually take a net. I usually I tell everybody I fish for food, not for fun. <laughs> so uh, I'm catching mullet about this big wow. in the evening in the morning. Wow. So it's uh, it's a thrill. And you and you uh, fished last night, is that correct? Yeah, it went last night. Last caught, night, how many did you catch? Caught supper. Well, I only caught one big one, but that was enough for supper. That was enough for supper. Don't like to overdo it. So you <laughs> keep you keep those out there for next time. And Mason, one of the interesting things about this area is, you know, especially if you're staying here on the beach, you can come down to the beach fish and then you can take it right up to your house and cook it. You have your very own restaurant practically right there at your house. You know, you fish and then go right straight home and cook. We call it your garden in your backyard. Most of our owners will set tra traps for crabs, uh, will wade out and pick up oysters, uh, can fish either with a net or with rod and reel, and years ago you used to be able to drag a net uh, for shrimp. So right there, you could catch your own seafood platter, and you could, uh, in a weekend, actually do that. Dive scallops on a day, and then you've got your entire platter that you've caught yourself. So uh, one of the unique places in the whole world where you can do that. Wonderful. And Mason, I know in Franklin County, there, there are many things to do. And, and what is there to do here on St. George Island? Well, uh, besides the obvious list of walking, fishing, biking, hiking, sunning, <laughs> reading, uh, our St. George Island Civic Club has bingo on Tuesday night. It was funny. I was calling bingo last week, and I asked the participants in the audience, uh, first time first time here, and half the people raised their hands, and I said, no, no, not to bingo, to St. George, and half the people raised their hand. So it was interesting to see a new, new, new wave of people coming. Um, of course, they got a free card being the first time here, so... Um, <laughs> But it's interesting to see that we're, word is getting out all over the country how special this place is. Thanks so much, Mason. Well, thank you. Thank I appreciate you. all you and, do for us. And if you would, before we go, if you would give a big invitation to everyone out there watching to come on down and experience Franklin County. Hey, the best invitation is right here. <laughs> come on. Come on down. As Mason said, this is the best invitation. Come on down to the beautiful beaches of Franklin County, Florida. As I said earlier, there are many things to do here. Wonderful seafood, wonderful people, and I know you're going to have an absolutely fantastic time when you come here. I'm Royce Rolstad, and this is the Franklin County Beach Report. I'll see you right back here once again. For more information about Franklin County beaches and other amenities, visit the Franklin County Tourist Development Council's website at anaturalescape.com or call 866-914-2068. For more video updates, visit ForgottenCoastTV.com or find us on Facebook by searching Forgotten Coast TV.